what's up everyone it's your girl Kiki coming back with you with another video and I am here to talk about how to set up da -da -da -da, your own mailing list on blogger I am doing a blogger series for those of us who still use blogger and have not jumped in the pool with a big boy of WordPress so to set up your own subscriber mailing list on blogger it's pretty easy I actually use which is called MailChimp I absolutely love literally love MailChimp just because number one it is free until you get so many subscribers then you have to upgrade it and it's just like a dollar or something per month for that secondly it is very simple to use you don't really have to do a whole lot of stuff you just click on what you want on your form and that's it so how you start with MailChimp as far as having your own sign up to our subscriber mail list form first of all you got to sign up and I have a link below as far as how you sign up second what you want to do is you want to set up a list and basically what that is you're gonna put in what type of list you're gearing your audience to so it's for your blog that I would recommend that you put your blog as your list once you do that you click on to your list and then you have these wonderful thing right here called sign up forms and you want to click on sign up form first of all what you want to do is you want to click on general forms general form is pretty much the meat of what you want your form to be for your sign up form now this is not the form that's going to be put in to your blogger and I'll tell you why later but say for example if you want to have a sign up form on Facebook or Twitter then you click on this URL to place into your Facebook and Twitter account and this is the form that they will see but we're gonna do the sign up form for embedded forms and I'm gonna tell you why with blogger and I'm gonna click on to mine so just a moment here lay out okay so with blogger what you want to remember is that anytime you add a gadget it has to be HTML JavaScript that's just the way blogger is so if you have any type of form that you want to use if it's not HTML or JavaScript you're gonna have some problems so that's why I say click on embedded form when you use the MailChimp subscriber list now with this subscriber list you have pretty much three options you can just do the basic form where it says subscribe to our mailing list and click in and you put email address and that's it or you can do super slam where it just says subscribe to our mailing list and it's much smaller much condensed don't take a whole lot of space or you could just do naked where it just basically puts on your page and that's it and it's very naked <laughs> this is the best way I could subscribe it I'm sorry um explain it can't talk this morning so whatever you decide what you're gonna want to do is down below it's gonna have copy and paste to your site and it's very important that you copy and paste this to be put onto your site when you go back to blogger you want to click on add gadget and click on HTML now I've already have one set up so I'm just gonna do a test one when you do that you don't really have to put anything to the title you just click on paste so everything that you had on MailChimp that you copy and paste is now on to your blogger once you click save and I'm not gonna save it because I have one already done um, then you're gonna hit save arrangement and you want to click on view blog when the reason why is because you want to make sure is this something that you want on your blog if you don't like the the regular classic form maybe you like super slam or if you like super slam then you can go back copy and paste it go back to your form click on JavaScript and you can change it out like I don't like the classic I'd rather have super slam change it save it save arrangement go back to your form or to your blog update and that's super slim so I mean 
it's up to you. I think I like super slim better because it doesn't go out the side of the white. But anyway, so that's pretty much it as far as how to set up your own subscriber mail list. Now, if you have any questions or concerns, always comment below. And hopefully, if you like this video, thumbs up. But until then, my friends, I hope you all have a great and wonderful day. And thanks for watching. Toodaloo. Bye-bye.